feel your work is connecting in some way, influencing the way they're becoming and playing? Well, like, I, I, I'm, part, I'm part of a larger philosophy. And the philosophy starts at the very top and it's congruent all the way through. So I feel validated in my approach uh, and what I, what the way I view the game is shared. So it's not a situation where it's like, uh, Daryl, you're in, you're in left field. And so you're just going to constantly come up to the table with left field thoughts. And then we'll try to figure out which one of your left field thoughts is going to make sense. That's not really how it works. It's a, a very congruent, very, um, like I'm, I'm part of a greater whole and I, I believe in the philosophy and I, 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 I've grown up with it in the sense because I've been with Sheldon and Kyle for a very long time now. And, um, you know, they got to know me, I got to know them and, you know, we, we shared. So it's, it's much more of a, the best part about it is that it's, it's, I'm part of something that's bigger than myself. And I never really had that before. Um, I've been a lone ranger my whole life, um, trying to carve out a living, trying to prove to people that I know what I'm talking about or, or that I have value in some way, any way, shape or form. And, uh, and just battling and battling and battling, working on the periphery almost of the game. And in Toronto, this situation for me is very, it's very dear for me because it's the first real time in which it's not a battle for me. I don't have to prove anything. I, who I am, the way that I think, uh, what I'm trying to do, my contribution, it's all valued as part of a grand scheme of things. I'm not on the periphery. I'm not uh, uh, an outside source. I'm part of the fabric of what's going on there. And uh, it's a real gift. It's a real gift to uh, for someone like me who's battled on the periphery of the game um, to try to find relevance in some way, shape, or form, to finally be in an environment where I'm not on the periphery, I'm part of the fabric. It's, uh, it's about as meaningful an environment for me to be in uh, at this stage in my career. I, 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 I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like, it's a... It's a it's a, it's a, it's a real, almost like the best accomplishment to have been able to find my way into a situation like that. And it's a real gift. Awesome. awesome uh, really awesome, Daryl. Uh, Barry, are, are you still on? I, I got you next. Barry, then Malcolm, you want to circle around Malcolm to the, uh, to your point you made in the chat there. And then Ryan is after that. So Barry is still out there. And, uh, Daryl Barry Midori is, uh, you can cr correct me on your correct title, Barry, but uh, superlative coach and longtime uh, hockey Alberta administrator, coach at different levels, um, uh, ter terrific guy as well. We got a lot of good human beings on this call. Anyway, go ahead, Barry, if you're still there. I'm glad that you.